Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a spring everyday makeup. Um, this is a really, really simple makeup. So let's just get started. I mean, it's really simple, really easy. It takes me only like 10 minutes to do. I don't know about y'all, but yeah. So it only takes me 10 minutes to do and I've been doing this makeup look for a good like two three weeks now and i've been really really loving it so yeah let's just get right into it so i already primed my face and everything well not prime because i don't use actual primer but i already moisturized my face and everything and i'll tell y'all what i use so for my under eye cream i use the mario badesco eye cream this is it right here after my eye cream i use the tatcha water cream so this is it this is actually the little version of it because i got it in like a pack and it was only like 60 dollars. it came with this and like other tatcha stuff so yeah so i actually really like this and it is true to the name and what i mean by that it's like when you rub it on your skin it's like actually like feels like water if you get what i'm saying so it's really refreshing and like hydrating and whatnot so i really like that and for my main moisturizer i use the um origins this is the energy boosting gel moisturizer i really really love this stuff i recently just got this stuff like a week and a half ago or like two weeks ago and i am obsessed with this stuff if you are dry if you need a lot of hydration and whatnot and just like really flaky and dry like me then i really recommend this for you guys so that's what i do for my base before i put on makeup all the time i always try to hydrate my face especially around my nose because i am the driest right there so yeah let's just get right into my makeup so for this spring makeup, I have not been doing foundation. So I have been recently actually breaking out a lot. Not big breakouts, but just like tiny breakouts every now and then. Like I have some right here and also some right here. What I'm going to start off with is concealer. So um, for my spring, whenever um, summer and like spring comes around and whenever the sun is starting to beat down, and get really hot in texas i'm going in with the morphe concealer and this concealer is so so good i love this shit so much and i am in the color um c3.15 i think that's the color but yeah so i have been loving this so so much and i actually got the concealer to match my actual skin tone because i want this to be basically like a foundation and yeah so i got it to actually match my skin tone perfectly i mean it might be a little tiny bit off but we are just going to use that so i'm just gonna put this basically where i put my concealer at and this is like a really like good full coverage concealer um i'm pretty sure this is their new concealer which i love but it is so good and it's kind of full coverage kind of not but it's really really buildable which i like in a concealer and foundation i really prefer a more buildable foundation and concealer rather than a like full coverage because i like to build up my foundation and concealer and whatnot so yeah so i'm just gonna go in where i usually just put in my concealer so I'm just going to use my Real Technique Beauty Blender and just bounce that into my skin. So I blended it all out and as you can see, it's kind of like a matte semi-matte finish um there is a tiny bit of glow still to my skin but um yeah this concealer is a really kind of matte concealer which i actually like um i don't really like my concealers to be too 
glowy even though I do like the glowy skin that's what I always do I never do a matte like skin at all like I hate it so much just because I am so dry but um, I like my concealers to be a little bit glowy and a little bit matte at the same time so this does have a little bit luminosity to it and my boyfriend just texted me let me turn it off but yeah so I really like this concealer so next I'm gonna go in to cream bronzing I have never cream bronze at all um, I recently just got this product one um, I got this product when I got the Morphe concealer, but yeah, so I never cream bronze at all and I've been seeing so many people do it, so I really was interested in doing it myself. So this is the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm pretty sure they have three other ones. This is just one of them and this is the Highlight and Contour Stick. Um, and this is in the WS04, the universal one. So yeah, so this is how it looks. It just looks like this. Obviously the highlight and then it has the little um, bronze at the other end. So I'm not going to highlight today just because I don't really want to. But I am going to bronze. So I'm going to put this where I usually... And I've already used this product already and I honestly really like it. It is super duper creamy and it's really buildable as well. I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender. And it just gives you something like really subtle and really pretty like it's just something that like you put on first and then you go in with your powder bronzer and it just gives you a little bit like a base for your bronzer so i really like this stick a lot so for my under eyes i use a different powder just because i crease super duper badly under my eyes which i hate so much but I have to use like a different powder. So this is the Allure Mercy A brightening powder only for your eyes. So I really like this um, powder and I have been trying to like, I guess experiment with this powder. But for today, I usually use a brush or I sometimes go back and forth with um, setting my under eyes. I either go in with the brush or I go in with the beauty blender, but today I'm just going to go with the beauty blender. So I'm just going to set my under eyes and look up while doing it. So I'm going to get a little bit actually and brighten my forehead a little bit. And this is like a legit brightening powder like it brightens my under eyes so much which i do love so and for my overall face i'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and i'm just gonna powder up my face with the beauty blender again so i'm just gonna go in and just set everything with the beauty blender But I'm just going to put a little bit on my hands and go in with the brush. So I'm going to use this like fluffy brush and I'm going to get my concealer and just blend it all on my eyelids. And I'm just going to use the same powder that I used for my face just to blend out and set my eyelids okay so i think that is good so now i'm gonna go in with an i now am gonna go with oh, i can't talk today now i'm gonna go do my eyebrows and recently for my eyebrows i've been doing them super duper light and not really heavy and just filling in like the sparseness i guess you could say of my eyebrows 
nothing too crazy just because like I already have full eyebrows as it is so I don't want to make them too dark or anything like that so I have to see <coughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh why there's I've been burping and then I have been sneezing this whole video I don't know what's wrong with me but I'm just gonna go in with my eyebrows and I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the color 4. So. I think that's good enough for my eyebrows. So now I'm going to set them with the um, Anastasia Eyebrow Gel. This is like the little one that my mom gave me so I'm just gonna set them and my eyebrows don't take too long because I just don't really care that much about my eyebrows and I don't like carve them out or anything like that because I think that's too much work and like I said this is like a really like fast and easy like spring makeup that I do so I don't want to take too much time on them so now I'm gonna go in with the morphe bronzer this is like a little one and yeah so I'm just gonna go in with a brush and bronze up my cheeks and since we have that base already of the cream bronzer I'm not gonna go in heavy or anything like that i'm just gonna go in lightly with the light hand and just bronze my face because we already have that cream base already so i'm just going to do the same thing and i'm going to kind of like contour my nose i'm really just gonna go in really really light on my brush and barely touch my nose on the sides i recently been doing this i started doing this part like a couple months ago and now i just can't stop doing it it's probably not the best way to like contour your nose or bronze your nose but honestly i just kind of like it and yeah okay so that is it for bronzer and now i'm gonna go in with my what is this called? My um, Cheeks Blush. I literally forgot what the name was called, but I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the color Pink Rose. So I really like a pinky type of blush. I love blush so much. I just think it just makes the face look so cute and just look so like alive and not too dull whatever. So I just love blush so much and I go in ham with this shit like I just love blush so much and I just think it just transformed the face and I put a lot on because towards the end of the day like the blush like fades away or whatever I don't know why but it just does so that's why I go in ham and then I do put a little bit on my nose because I think it's just a little cute or whatever so that's it for the blush it's not really showing up that much on camera so now I'm going to set my face in a way since I like a dewy type of look I'm going to use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist this is the little version of it and oh my gosh Ooh, it just smells so good and it's like I don't know it just makes my skin look so good after which I love for right now um, next I'm gonna go in with the hourglass um, this is the lightning powder luminous light well this is in the color luminous light and guys this is literally this is not a highlight so if you guys want a highlight um, get a different kind this isn't really a highlight let me try to explain to y'all what this is so basically this is a more like luminous glow to the face so if you just want something to like 
I guess like give yourself, give your face a luminous glow and just on the cheeks and whatever just to make your skin look more glowy from within then buy this oh my gosh guys this just looks so pretty on i feel like it'll look pretty on any skin type whatsoever um they have different colors but i just got this more like light pinky because i love pink and yeah so i so i'm gonna use this morphe brush this is how it looks i just i love this blush this blush i love this brush to put this like highlighter on because it just like hugs my cheeks so good and when i swipe it it just like i smile and then i do it so i'm like like that so i'm gonna go in ham with this like literally go in and i'll show y'all what i mean when it's just like not a highlighter like literally like this isn't one of those type of like blinding ass highlighters if y'all want a blinding ass highlighter get the becca um this is in a color opla or something like that this shit is blinding so that's blinding but this is not a highlighter whatsoever so i'm gonna go in ham and then i'm going to just like do you see what i mean like it's just something so glowy but it's so subtle and it's just so like ugh, i just love this shit so much like it just makes my makeup looks look so much better like can you tell the difference from this cheek to this cheek like ugh, it's just so pretty i love it so much like i go in ham so I use the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. This palette is so pretty. I love it so much. And this is how it looks. It's just so subtle, so pretty, so cute, whatever. And I'm going to use the girl, the girl. <laughs> I'm going to use the eyeshadow called Funny Girl. And this is it right here. It's really like a champagne type of color. And I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab brush and this is in JH42 so I'm gonna get this brush and I'm going to do a highlight under my eyebrow bone the tip of my nose because the tip of my nose highlight is just so cute like it just makes your nose look so much better and just so cute and I love it I'm gonna put a little bit more and I'm gonna do my cupid's bow so now for the last step um, I'm gonna do my eyelashes so for my eyelashes I use their real mascara bum bum I can't fucking talk today like what the hell <sighs> this is their real mascara from benefit and I love this mascara so much. It just grabs my eyelashes so good. And I just love it. And I already naturally have long eyelashes. So I don't need anything too much. I usually actually use three mascaras for my eyelashes. Just because I'm that bitch. And I just love a good long thick eyelash. Eyelashes. So, but this one is just like so good and it separates my eyelashes so good because the brush of it is just so like, I don't know if y'all can see, it's just so like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just so good and I love it and I was blessed with long eyelashes thanks to my mother. So yeah, I'm just going to comb my eyelashes like 10 million times because I, I don't know, that's just what I do. So yeah guys, I just curled my lashes a little bit more and then I finished off with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and then I changed, I put some jewelry on and then I curled my hair as well because I like when my hair is curled and whatnot. But yeah guys, so if you guys like this makeup look or whatever, then give it a huge thumbs up. I am really been enjoying actually doing my makeup and whatnot and really just enjoying like this simple makeup i feel like i've been like feeling myself 
a lot more with just doing like concealer and whatnot, honestly. So I'm going to be continuing to doing this makeup look. But yeah, guys, so I hope you guys like this makeup look. And if you do, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. And yeah, if you guys recreate this makeup look, just I guess tag me or whatever. My social media is down below in the description. And yeah, guys, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about this makeup look for today. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. So um, see y'all guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay.